Well, no, because you're wearing Hello, black. everybody. And I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can't. No. It's hard, but I am wearing a Canadian theme shirt. Why are you wearing? You're wearing a Canadian theme shirt. I'm wearing a Canada shirt. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Me Talk Streams and our fourth. Yeah. Fourth uh, snack crate live tasting tonight. Canada, eh? Canada. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. No. Uh, that's, I, every time I say Canada, okay. it's, that's how it happens. Um, and I am wearing, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a Loading Ready Run uh, Desert Bus for Hope t-shirt, which they're a Canadian uh, comedy troupe. And Jen is wearing flannel. I'm wearing flannel and Supernatural gear. Supernatural, oh, because they're Canadian too, huh? Well, they film in Vancouver. They film in Vancouver. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. I, I think you mentioned that, and I just have forgotten, because yeah. I, I don't yeah. watch. Because Canadian... I don't watch. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, you're lame, so. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty lame. <laughs> <laughs> no, they film in Vancouver. The uh, Vancouver Con is this weekend. Yeah. Supernatural flannel. I didn't wear bisexual flannel tonight. <laughs> I just wore regular supernatural flannel. So, also... Uh, That's a thing. We have uh, something going on. If you notice... Um, I just realized I like really on uh, if it's back, it's though. up here, up there, where is it? Uh, that way, it's up there. It says I have a new button on my channel. Actually, a couple. Uh, Bill's couple fancy things. now. Uh, it says subscribe. What does that mean? How oh, do I have to do that? Well, last no no. Well, last <laughs> Tuesday, uh, I became a Twitch affiliate. Which means I can now take subscriptions and receive bits. Yay! So that being said, uh, don't forget that if you are a Amazon Prime member and you have a linked uh, Twitch Prime account, you get a free uh, one month, $5 subscription to a channel of your choice. Doesn't cost you another cent more. Pay me, <laughs> <laughs> Pay me, bitches! Um, I am absolutely over the moon, and uh, I know uh, right now we're still waiting for some people to show up and so forth. Yep, but that's why we're not eating yet. But I'm also, uh, I also just want to say thank you to everybody who has uh, been part of my streams for the last, uh, heck, for the last two and a half years, but also just specifically for the last few months. You guys are amazing. And I just want to say thanks to everybody. Um, they have no music. Oh, you guys want music? Okay. Well, I do. Oh, you want music? Okay, there we go. All right. Um, it's so quiet. And all I hear is like the ice cream. Man. I'm sorry, and I'm I'm being and I'm being really really sappy and you're and being sentimental. sentimental. It's allowed. Yeah. But uh, you know what? Bit of shitty I've been, day. I've been working. Sentimental it up, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working towards becoming a Twitch affiliate for uh, well really in earnest since January uh, was one of the yearly goals that I set for myself and I'm very happy that I've achieved it and again it's no no small part uh, thanks to uh, everybody who's who's watched me and followed me uh, including the trolls you guys are I know they're not here yet. yeah but uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, tonight we are tasting Canada. Let's see. Uh, let's get the things so we can at least see what we're looking forward yeah, to. Yeah, I was gonna say I've not uh, looked at this box or anything. Yeah. So we got stickers. Let's see what kind of stickers they are. Uh, let's get to go to our wide shot. All right. Oops. Yeah. All right. So stickers. We get a mounty. Uh, we get a totem, totem pole. Um, a hockey playing goose. A hockey playing Canadian goose. A uh, separate sticker for a hockey puck. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, the Canadian flag and a polar, polar bear. bear. Polar bear, I'd put more with Alaska, but yeah. I'll accept yeah. it. And then, of course, a Mountie and the uh, Snack Crate Canada thing. Uh, here's the little little pamphlet. Or the little thing. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, it shows a... Hockey playing Canadian dude in flannel with donuts, with donuts. because because Canada, Canada. Eh? because Canada. Uh, <laughs> um, let's read a little bit about Canada. Are we going to do Canada facts? Canada facts, fun facts. First off, the capital of Canada is Ottawa. 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 
Total area I of 3.8 million square miles. Uh, they have a population of 35 million, which isn't very much. That's why they're all nice. Yeah, yeah. They're not like crowded together yeah. and like everybody, you know. Like but Americans. you know what? They have free health care. That's also why they're nice. <laughs> That's also why they're nice. Everything's uh, better in Canada. They have a better prime minister. If they have they have an better. amazing prime minister that a friend of mine actually saw in San Francisco. I love Justin. Um, apparently, our our beloved president said that he was taller than than Justin Trudeau, and then when they finally met face to face, he was <laughs> nowhere near. <laughs> uh, about Canada, Canada is a country in the northern part of North America. It's 10 provinces and three territories cover 3.8 million square miles, making it the world's second largest country in total area and fourth largest country by land area. Second largest country right after Ru Russia's bigger. Yeah. That's it. But a lot of Canada is difficult to live in. True. Same with Russia. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Russia would be a fun box. <laughs> that would be a fun box. We have to taste something and say sukobliat every time we. <laughs> yeah, just have vodka. Bliat. We have a little shots of vodka. Shots of vodka after every drink. Yeah. Uh, after every taste. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. That'd be painful. Ooh, that would be pain. I, I would. That would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Um, Canada's border with the United States is the world's longest binational land border. 80, 82 percent of the population is concentrated in large and medium-sized cities. Haley Amazing 95, hello! What's that? No. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Haley. Um. That a girl. I like the. the Haley, thank you for the subscription! I like the little announcing thank, subs. Like. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. It works! It works! It was very, you know, a, <laughs> it very, works. like, distracting. <laughs> Haley, you have the you have the prize. The, you the, have number the, one. You have the the first subscription. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> my subscription emote has not been approved by Twitch yet. Uh, but you should have. Yes, you have a little coffee cup next to your name. That means you're a uh, a one month. Love subscription. how you have the coffee cup. That's amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, Tony Biscuit. Tony. We get the fun. Tony, gets Tony! Number two. <laughs> Tony, thank you. Or Ivy Spiffy, thank you for the subscription. Uh, I just got added to a, like a whole story, so I got confused. That's ten. That. That's the ten dollars so far. Um, let's see. Twitch takes half of it. Uh, ten bucks. That's that's five dollars. But per person. Per person, but. Uh, so you made ten. I made no five dollars per person. Ten dollars, but Twitch takes half. Oh. oh, I don't know. I actually I don't know how much they take. But I'm one tenth of the way there because I don't get paid until I make a hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. Okay. But that's just stuff with Twitch. So back to Canada. Uh, Canada is a federal parliamentary democracy. Gosh, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's better than what we and have. A, and a constitutional monarchy. Queen Elizabeth is the, still the head of state yes. in Canada. Yes, she is. Yep. Uh. That's why, like Prince William and Harry and all them, like yeah, come they, every they, once they in a while. Yeah, they go they vacation in Canada. Frequently. Prince Harry met Meghan Markle oh, in yeah. Toronto. Nice. That's where they had their first date. Oh. Because I'm that person. You're that person that knows that. <laughs> the country is of, is officially bilingual at the federal level. Yep. They are English and French. French. Uh, Canada's Quebec culture draws French. influence from its broad range of con constituent nationalities and policies. That promote a just society are constitutionally protected. The Canadian music industry is the sixth largest in the world. My favorite band happens to be Canadian. <laughs> so is Justin Rush. Bieber. Unfortunately, Justin Bieber is also Canadian. But you know who else is awesome? Who? Uh, Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. Yeah. Um, uh, William Shatner is Canadian. He's kind of a dick, but yes, he is. He's a nice guy. He's a real life asshole, but it's okay. <laughs> I, I can't imagine his life being difficult. I'm convinced that America cares more about the British royal family than the British. That's facts. You are probably right, Ivy Spiffy. That's absolute facts. We don't have anything cool like that here in America. 
So of course I'm going to look at Meghan Markle and... The roots of organized sports in Canada hey. date back to the 1770s. Canada's official national sport is... Hockey, eh? Ice hockey. <clears throat> and lacrosse and has participated in almost every Olympic game since its debut in 1900. Trebek's so we're saying Canadian? the modern Olympic games. What? Trebek's Canadian? Yeah. You know who else is? Who? Joshua Jackson. Okay. My high school love. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's do a fun fact and then we'll do some tasting and okay. then we'll do another fun fact. All right. So fun fact, Canada is the second largest country in the world right after Russia. And Can then- soda? Let's do the soda. Like so we start off with we start off beverage. with the soda. Let's get our, our uh, let's get our oh, drink the water. Yeah. Yeah. I like how we both did that like a shot. A shot. So our soda tonight. Oh, a hell. Oh yeah. The uh, the goat. True. The goat is Canadian. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jericho. Yes. Jericho is Canadian and. Uh, yeah, quite a few. I'm sure Tony can, or Ivy Spiffy can march, uh, mark them off every time. So cr this is Crush, Crush, but it's uh, cream soda. The, this Canadian soda riff mousse. on a cream soda features the flavors of orange and French vanilla blended together for a taste that is smooth and sweet. Orange and French vanilla. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I apologize. I had to keep it from uh, overflowing. I didn't even see because I was looking for a pen. Okay, never mind then. You saw nothing. I saw nothing because <laughs> I literally saw nothing. So. <laughs> it's pink. It is pink. That's adorable. Totes Adorbs Canada. <laughs> I can't believe I actually said Totes Adorbs. All right. Are you, are you lighting or? I'm taking a picture. Taking a picture. Social media is great. <laughs> oh, we need paper towels. We're gonna need paper towels. Tony. Ivy Spivy, can we get a paper towel roll? Because it's pink. I don't get to drink things that are pink. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mod, ladies and gentlemen. That's my mod. That's the greatest thing <laughs> ever. All right. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> the Torbs Canada Phil 2018. Those are bots. Hello, bot Apple, bad Apple, and Commander Root. I was prepared to hate this, and I love it. Yeah. Thank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a wild Ivy Spiffy is comes out of nowhere like yeah. a ghost. Notice has notice. <laughs> oh, gosh. What is, uh... I was really prepared to hate this. And it was really... You know, it's actually really good. This is I, really it good. It really is quite, quite, quite nice. Um, yeah. Let's wipe it off a little bit. That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Uh, that's actually, it's a really good flavor. That has um, a nice after flavor. You know what's funny is, uh, everyone talks about, uh, talks about flavor. And, uh, if you want, punch, want to punch something up, Add citrus. Well, yeah. And a lot of people just add lemon, but lemon is too harsh. And I like orange. I think orange is a good. Flavor. I'm not a big orange person. I love me some orange soda. Oh my goodness. Yeah, or, no, or, man or mandarin mandarin soda from uh, Yaritos. The Hubs oh, loves the goodness. orange. <laughs> Granted, the Hubs love prefers grape over anything. You know what? I am a grape soda fan as well. That's Lance's thing. Lance will drink grape with everything. Grape is is best. Grape soda is best soda? Yeah. All right. But I like the pink beverage. Oh, this is... Why can't I have this, this really all nice. the time? Um, you have to, like, like uh, search for it or something, right? Well, I know a bunch of people who are going to be in Canada this weekend, so... What's going on in Canada this weekend? The Supernatural Vancouver Con oh. that I was actually supposed to go to. Well, if you were going to go to the Vancouver Con, I was going to, like, say, hey, can you visit Victoria and pick me up some stuff? <laughs> But that you'd have to take, you'd going, have to take a ferry for that. Yeah, I'm not going to Vancouver until next year. I'm gonna do Vancouver VanCon next year. Wow. Because I've never been to Vancouver. Oh, it's pretty. So I'm going to pretty. kind oh. of roll it into as a whole thing where it's like I go for the convention, then I stay longer, 
and kind of stock the set of Supernatural <laughs> and like Arrow and Flash. You're gonna be stuck. And then like, and then also like seek Canada things, yeah. like eat poutine. That's corner, kind of a Eastern Canada thing. Yeah, but it's, it's people tell me it's all over Canada. Yeah, it's it is. Fries and gravy. Like I can't see anything wrong with fries. Cheese and gravy. curds and fries covered with gravy. Again, I say. Still can't see anything wrong with that. There is a place in Vancouver and uh, and uh, Victoria called House of Poutine. You can get poutine in Disney World. You can get poutine in San Francisco. Oh, no, but yeah. you gotta eat it. I'm going to eat it in Canada first. <laughs> oh, season eight to eight. <sighs> Uh, that's right. Haley's Haley's doing that. I love look look at the, the, the subscription thing. Sorry. What is season eight? So season seven was Leviathan. Eight's the gates of hell. Eight's my favorite season. Eight's my one hundred percent favorite season. I love Benny. I love. That's where my favorite gift comes from. Of where's the angel? Everything about eight. Eight and nine are my favorites. On top of then thir and then it goes thirteen. There's a lot of potato chips. Oh yeah, there's a lot of chips. There's a lot of crispy stuff. And we need a pen to rate. Uh, there's a screwdriver and a pencil that's broken. I don't have a pen. Yeah, closing the gates of hell. Isn't um, that what this is? Yeah, you have Kevin. Or is that we'll, nine? We'll, we'll Am I like? We'll remember. Am I like spoiling a whole bunch of stuff? You have Benny. This is pur purgatory. They gave us a maple lollipop. How are we oh, gonna? Yeah. How are we gonna share that? That's uh, yeah. I didn't know. I figured I'd just let you eat that. We we can do without the lollipop. Lick it. <laughs> no. Oh, it's very lickable. All right. Do you want to start with the most American of it, the Doritos? Yeah. Let's see the Doritos. <laughs> So we are the Doritos. These chips feature a blend of Parmesan and cheddar cheese with a deliciously tangy kick. It's in French too, well, which is what I like. Because if you're gonna sell something in Canada, it yeah, has to have both. both. So fromage mordant. Does that make me sound more French? No. But yeah, see how everything has yeah. both. Um, All right. I find Mrs. Tran annoying. What? But she won't be around much longer. Who? I'm talking oh. to Haley. Oh, you're talking to Haley. <laughs> you supernatural fangirls. That's that's another another streamer. Ah. Oh, I can't speak French. Comment ça va? They're cold because they've been living in my freezer for a month. Cold chips are okay. Ooh, they smell good. They're so good. They're Doritos. They're so good. Now, good job marketing to Canada, Doritos. Wait, who are Doritos part of? Mm, fun fact about Doritos. Doritos are a Frito Lay Company. Hi, Sandy. Oh, Sandy Barnabas. Welcome to the channel. So, fun fact about Doritos. What? They're invented in Disneyland. Really? Uh huh. So, when they were doing tortilla, they were doing tortillas, you know, quesadillas and that yeah. kind of stuff. They didn't know what to do with the leftover tortillas. So, somebody in the Disney Corporation cut them up, fried them, made chips, yeah. sprinkled them with cheese sauce. Walt sold the idea. To Frito Lay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. They taste like Doritos, but they taste uh, better than Doritos. Yeah, they're uh, Parmesan cheese and uh, what else? Cheddar cheese. Mm. That's like it's fabulous. It's like it's like regular Dorito cheese flavor, but class, but classier. Yeah. Yeah. Put this on a plate with like salami. And cheese. Dude. I'm hungry. At least I'm hungry too. Well, I did have some, some dinner before uh, streaming, but. I did not. I came, Eat up. I came fully invested in screwing up my stomach. You know what? 
It'll probably do better than having a ton of extremely rich chocolate from the Mediterranean. That's true. <laughs> That's a fact. There are some some candies in here, but... Oh, there are candy. And, you know, I'm liking the soda. I really like the soda. It's not really Orange Crush. It's Crush Cream Soda. Oh. But it it's has orange. The company's Crush yeah. Cream Sodas. Okay. Well, they originally were Orange Crush. Right. Um, we have some interesting stuff. Uh, yes. Do the Doritos taste like Doritos? They do taste like Doritos. <laughs> do you want to taste one? I'm going to eat them all if you don't. <laughs> so you can take the rest of the bag because I'm just going to eat it all. Here's your bag. Here's your bag. <laughs> so let's let's do another Canadian fact. Yes, Haley. You can more than welcome to join us and be our third. Yes, I can I have enough room for another person here. And uh, if you were wondering if I took <clears throat> bets actually, yes I did. <laughs> I'm not going to say the French that just came to mind. Because <laughs> that wouldn't happen, but I've been would, reading uh, way too much fan fiction. I don't think you understand. We have to do the fan fiction. We stream. do. I I have been a worthless human being this month, this week, and all I've done because Dean and Cass Big Bang came out. So all I've been doing is reading bangs all week. It's killing me. So, according to this fun fact, and I don't doubt this one bit, Canada is the most educated country per capita in the world, That's as in fact. half of their half of, <coughs> of their population. Is, has a college degree. That's a fact. Yep. Amazing what you can do when you don't have to worry about getting sick. Um, <clears throat> All right. So, so that that's the that is definitely a thumbs up from both of us. Cat, ketchup or dill pickle chip? I think we should save the ketchup for the last savor or the last of the chips. Okay. Because I am probably I am the most excited about ketchup because it's kind of that's a very Canadian thing. Ooh, it's gluten free. So, but want to, you want to do the old Dutch? Well, they're the same company. Yeah. So should we do this and then we'll save the company for last? Yeah, save the company for last. Oh, wow. We have other stuff. Let's, There's lots of chips. Yeah, let's do... Uh, well, let's do a more American. Let's do another American brand, Ruffles. Yep. Who are they? Uh, who are they? Ruffles. Uh, no, no. The, it's all dressed. Let's, uh, Frito, they're also Frito-Lay. Frito-Lay. <clears throat> I Ruffles like all dressed. Those are good. The most popular chip in Canada, made with paprika and a secret blend of spices. I love Tony's. Appa Those are good. Those are good. Apparently, he has them at his at his store. You do? So if I really like these, you can. Can you get these at Knob Hill, Tony? They smell delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, you! Oh my God! I know where I'm going. Oh my God! Oh, oh. oh my mm. God! <laughs> the uh, the second part of the of the flavor, it's amazing. Oh, well, paprika is one of my go-to spices. Unlike the second like chip, you'll get bell pepper. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Well that was done, amazing. Canada. Why, Canada? Why did you get such good? They do marketing, I guess. Oh, they're really a little, a little salty for me right now. Oh, so good. But it's really good. Mm. Do you want the last of the soda? No, go ahead. Ah. Oh my god, you're so good. Those are. Oh, I'm gonna like. I'm. I am already like super relaxed and everything. This is fantastic. I love this. All right, so this is going to go in a place of honor, like the uh, grape soda from last time. Yep. No, not last time. Or grape soda, the... the Japanese uh, Pepsi. No, because the Japanese Pepsi wasn't that good, remember? I know, but it's... I still, the can it's, was cool. It's Japanese. Yeah. It was just meh. It was just... That soda, I was, was so just, disappointed. It was, just Pepsi, it was just Pepsi, is what it was. Oh, they have cheesies. They do. They have, we have Canadian Cheez-Its, ladies and gentlemen. 
put Trump on the picture. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is the uh, thing about the cheesies? Similar to Cheetos in form, these delicious snacks, dusted corn snacks, are a longtime favorite of Canada. So, so far we're, what, we're two for two. Ooh, and like, made with cheddar cheese. Real Canadian. Real Canadian, Canadian cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. These are like, god damn it, Canada. Again, look how full that bag is. Yeah. They're, the company name is Hawkins. But like, look how full that bag is. Yeah. That's an American bag, that's air. That's just air. Well, I don't know where this came from, but. Well, it came from Canada. It smells like Cheetos. Oh, wow. <laughs> it has a penis. <laughs> you said it, not I said me. it. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. Once again, Cheetos, but better. Yeah, it's a better Cheeto. You know, and I think it's because the flavor is a slightly less. Uh, excuse me, while I punch your face while you try to eat. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like real cheese. Yeah, it tastes like real cheese. It's not, and also it has that has that, uh, and the corn tastes better too. Yeah, I was gonna say you notice that this thing isn't just air. Mm. This is actually a oh. thick cracker chip-like substance. You know what mm. I mean? Like you hear that crunch. That's not yeah, just I air. Mean, they have some some weight and substance to them. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I like this as much as I like I, the I don't, other two. I, it's not as good as the other two. It's, yeah. got, it's pretty. It's pretty heavy, but it's heavy. Yeah, that's why I think. If I If you like had this as a it. snack, you would. I need like three, and then you I'd would be like, not cool. need to to have much else. Yeah. Hi, Lance. Mm. But I do like. I would sit and munch on that while I was doing something, as long as I didn't have to touch anything. <laughs> You need a paper bag. Yeah. No, I got like. Yeah, you're gonna. You already have. You already have dust on your pants. Because yeah, I actually like Cheetos, so I eat them a lot. So I bet when you're at home, you're sitting there, you just like put your hands in and you go. Oh. No, I just lick my fingers. And I <laughs> move on. Uh, time for another Canadian fact. So so far we're we're thumbs up, thumbs up, and. Meh. Meh. But, the center. but I would eat them. I'd eat them. I would them, definitely but eat like, them. But like, that's a lot. It, uh, they're it's a weird. They're aftertaste. very heavy. And, yeah. And uh, I think it's because I'm so used to an actual Cheeto that the aftertaste is kind of growing me. So, do you prefer the puffs or the crunchies? Crunchies. I do too. Mm -hmm. Those are even heavier and mm -hmm. thick and and, yeah. and more substance. Which I think the, is what's the throwing crunchies. me off. Yeah. With my actual like whether I actually. It's probably because they not. use like real corn. USA flavor, thank you for the follow. Where's the follow? Where's it's the a follow? little. That's a. It's not the follow isn't coming up. I don't know why. That's that's a little ironic since we're tasting In Canada, Canada yeah. food. <laughs> but welcome, sir, ma'am, whoever, whoever you are. Whoever you happen to be. Um, whatever you classify yourself as. Yeah, maybe it's because my uh, because of the food and drink tag. Yeah, that's maybe on. that. It's a, by the way, Twitch has a new tag system, and uh, Creative is now completely gone. Um, IRL is now split up into a bunch of different things, and we are now using... All right! All right! USA Flavor, thanks for the follow. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Miss V! Welcome. So, um, Twitch has these new tags, and we are under the food and drink tag tonight. Oh, I like it. Oh, first bits! Tony gave me my first bit! Thank you! Thanks for the petty, dude! <laughs> <laughs> you are now on the leader on the bits board. You have... <laughs> Thank you for the one bit. Should, should I give him crap? <laughs> no. <laughs> be nice to your roommate, he gave you a bit? I gave you a bit. A bit is a penny. So he still gave it to he gave, you. I, he didn't have to. I'm give one it. penny richer. Woohoo! <laughs> thank, thank you, IB Spiffy, for being my very first ever bit person. He didn't like grab a penny out of his wallet and throw, throw it, it at, at you. Me. He actually 
put a penny through here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what bits are is uh, you can purchase them from Amazon uh, using using the chat. Uh, I took that took a while for USA Flavor to show up. Um, you can either purchase them. I think it's a uh, buck twenty five on the dollar for bits. Yeah. So hundred bits is a buck twenty five. Awesome. And then the more you buy, the the more the, the the more afford or not affordable, but the more value you get. Oh, okay. uh, you can also get bits by watching ads. Oh. Yeah. Targeted ads and stuff like that. Hey USA Flavor, if you guys are an affiliate of anything we're eating and you want to sponsor us, by all <laughs> means. Thank you. We will you. gladly eat your food for free. Or 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 uh, other. Things. Paid sponsor. Paid sponsor. So yes. we we'd eat it for free and yes. then everybody else would have to go buy it because yes. of our awesome recommendation. Just like how everybody needs to go and buy these because they're amazing. Oh, the fully loaded? Oh, the ruffles. All dressed up. Oh my God. Yes. Imagine this in onion dip. Oh yeah. Oh my God. You gotta have them for Halloween. I gotta have them for your birthday. Yeah, I'm for my birthday. That's before. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we get before. Oh, excuse me. Um. Other Canada facts. Canada has the longest coastline in the world. Well, of course, with all those islands. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. Yep. I'm considering looking at the yeah, picture. Yeah, I mean, look at the picture. Oh, yeah. All that's coastline. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, where do we want to go now? We still chipping it? Yeah. There's lots of chips. What is that? We have Ringaloos. Ringaloos? Or... These are hickory sticks, and those look like something I used to eat as a child. Well, let's let's regress a little bit and do hickory chips. Uh, hickory hickory sticks, sorry, thin sliced hickory flavored potato sticks that are smoky, salty, and super addictive. What is a hickory? Like, what's the flavor of hickory? Hickory is uh, is wood. Like you know, you, you ever drive by? You ever drive by? No, you use it to smoke meat. Jesus Christ, that smells like a barbecue. Yeah, that's. Bar that's one of the barbecue okay. smoke, uh, barbecue meats for smoking. And They're honestly, you know sticks? what you know what these are? Those They're like sticks. the little the little sticks. Uh, They're potato sticks, the but potato they're sticks I eat instead as a of kid. onion. Yeah. Yeah. See. They're yeah. I'm probably gonna love these too. Mmm. Mmm. I meant hi I meant hickory pit. Yeah. <laughs> This I'm literally, hip. yeah, these are just like the onion stick. Hey, Miss V, check out that subscribe button up there. Did you see that? I am a Twitch affiliate now. Feels super fancy now. Mm. Oh. These are fantastic, too. You know what Again, they, remi you know what they remind me of? I these above the Cheetos. You know what they remind me of? Hmm. Um, uh, in and out fries. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now I love them better. Because I always get my fries light well. And I, and Miss V, thank you so much for being one of my first ever followers. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, now I'm going to feel you. I'm going to shove my face full. Oh. Well, you <laughs> that. oh, thanks, Miss V. They're so good. <laughs> Take them away. <laughs> Take them away. Okay. So uh, we're going to have to eat these later. The thing is, I think you need to eat these with a spoon. They're so small. All right. These, these. So, so just, you know, dump them in your So, mouth. so far, the only thing that, that has been a little bit of a meh is the uh, the Cheeto things. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think we need Ringolos. What's that? Soda or Coke? Okay. Ringolos. Um, also. Humpty Dumpty brand. Oh. Supernatural. <laughs> I have tattoos. I have Jen shirts. Has, Jen has. Jen is basically a walking supernatural merch store. Oh, fine. My husband would agree with you. <laughs> My wall. Oh, look at these. Check them out. Ringola. That's all I hear when I see <laughs> Ringola. it. Ring's too small. I won't even fit on my pinky. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. 
Hmm. The seasoning isn't very high, but the, uh, the actual... It's supposed to be barbecue? Yeah. The teeny tiny sticks had more flavor. Yeah. Mmm. So you have to lick the outside before you chew. <laughs> see, see how lick lickable it is? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, so you stick it on your tongue and then chew it, because then you get the flavor. Wait. Keep keep eating. Keep eating. It sneaks up on you. Mmm. Those are really good. They're, they're sneaking. There they are. Yeah, it sneaks up on you. That means they're, they're using some kind of capsaicin... Some yeah. kind of chili in there. Yeah. I'm not a big spicy person. But those person. are really good. And it's not mm. as hot. No. Yeah, uh, just drinking that soda made it all go away. All right. They're above the Cheeto, but not above the but ruffles or the hickory sticks. Yeah. I am extremely interested in that, uh, but I would, I would still, I would still buy those. Those are really good. No, no, no. I'm going to eat this. Uh, I'll eat it on stream. It's fine. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a lollipop. It's a maple lollipop. Look at it. 100% pure maple syrup. Oh my God. I'm sick and I love it. Right, what ones you're interested in? The passion flaky. It's in the back there. What is it? Is it like a? What is it? Are we are we done with savory? No, we're not. Well, we done have with the savory. two chips, and that's it. Okay, then then we go to to desserts. Let's do a. They they got crushed. Whatever it is. Oh. It's flaky, so you probably need to put it on a napkin. We have napkins. Thank you, thank you, Tony. It's a, a puff pastry. Okay. From what I'm gathering. It's a puff pastry filled with apple and raspberry. Sounds absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try it. So let us get the last two First chips. ingredient is sugar. <laughs> Woo! All right, <laughs> now we're on to the chip, the last of the chips. And these are the Old Dutch brand stuff. And I am super excited about ketchup flavored anything. That's a huge Canada thing. This one, not so much. I'm I not, love me pickles. I don't like dill pickles. I love pickles. I love pickle shots. I love pickle everything. You know what a pickle shot is, right? I'm assuming it's it's alcohol it's with a, a shot of whiskey, in. and then you follow it with pickle juice. Okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> 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 it's really good. I was really surprised when I did it. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I want to do pickle shots on my birthday. <laughs> you don't drink whiskey, so no, probably I don't. not. I have my gin. I would like to try a ketchup chip, but keep the pickle craft yourself. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll do it. We're doing pickles first, but first, another Canada fact. The name Canada is an Iroquoian word meaning village. Yay! Just smell it. Don't don't don't, don't look at it. <laughs> Actually, it smells pretty good. Right? It smells like a salt and vinegar chip. You get a tiny one since you don't like pickles. <laughs> oh my god, this tastes just like a pickle. Yeah, but it tastes like a good pickle. It's a good pickle. You know why? There's no caraway in it. Right. I hate caraway. Mm. Which is why I don't like most pickles, because they all have caraway in it. Mm. That was good. Wow. That was good. That's actually pretty good. That's a really good pickle chip. Color me surprised. I am... I like dill pickle potato chips. Specifically by Old Dutch. <laughs> I don't. These aren't in America, so yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I've never seen Old Dutch in America. Uh, All right, Bill. You want to do the honors? I'll do the honors. Ketchup flavor oh, potato chips. This is probably the most Canadian chip we've had tonight. Yeah. Well, the pickle. Um. 
That's not an American. Oh, look. Oh my god. It is it is red. Red red like ketchup. That smells just like ketchup. Oh, oh my god. I can't wait for this. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's like eating french fries. I don't like ketchup. You don't like ketchup? Fries. I love ketchup. I like ketchup on my hot dogs, but it's like ketchup and mustard together. Like I dip my french fries in ketchup and mustard together. Mmm. Mmm. I like this. Um. I like it. So apparently there also exists. Um. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I love it. Um. I'm a big, big. So yeah, if you. I'm a big, uh, big yes please on this one. So if you really like ketchup. Mm hmm You really like this chip. Um. Apparently there is a. Heinz ketchup ruffles that they sell in Canada. Uh, you know, Heinz 57 uh, flavored. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but I was I was hoping we were gonna get that, but I think Old Dutch is probably probably the, the, probably the more authentic. Yeah. Um, I know that Ruffles, when you know Ruffles every year pulls out like 15 different flavors mm -hmm. of chip. I know the ketchup failed here. Yeah. Gluten free, well, of course. They're made of potato. You just go ahead. I'm just going to stay here with these. Are we going to just hang out for a while? <laughs> we can hang out and talk to people. Mmm. Grab a chip that we like. Yeah. So how's everyone doing tonight? Mmm. Uh. Now I can say I've tasted ketchup uh, potato chips. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're a bit too ketchupy for me. One of these days I want to make my own ketchup. Make like tomato paste and vinegar. Say Austin Brown makes that. Yeah, no, he never made his own ketchup. I thought he made his own ketchup. No, he made his own mayonnaise. Made his own mayonnaise, which is similar in that both have vinegar. I thought he made his own ketchup. I don't remember. I know he also makes his own marshmallow fluff, fluff as yeah. he said in his final episode of the original Good Eat series, yeah. where he pulls out marshmallow fluff in a can. He's like, I make my own. But you already knew that, because you know I'm a freak. And then takes it off camera and goes to do it. And I'm like, it's <laughs> my boy. He's coming back. I know he's coming back. and October I 15th. I know. I will be there for it. Or at least... Uh, You'll be there for the internet one. Yeah. That's, that's 15 minutes longer. Yep. The one on TV is only 30 minutes. The one on the internet is going to be 45. 45. I know. Because he knows that the people on the internet are what brought him back. Yeah. Also, he just got married. Again? Yep. I didn't know he got divorced. Yep. Oh. Huh. Yeah, he just got married. Again. It was adorable. Right they wore sneakers. They're cute. Oh. I like he his cooking. Instagram it. I will show you I'll because I follow him. Because <laughs> I follow him on Twitter. But I didn't, for some reason, I didn't uh, see that on my feed. Oh my god, come back. Yep. Yeah. Aww. They wore sneakers and then they had whiskeys. Aww. Good for him. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Happy he's, happy he's an outside. adorable dog, too. That's a bulldog? French bulldog. French bulldog. They're ador they're totes adorbs as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's <laughs> been showing all the progress of all the food he's been yeah. cooking for Reloaded. So yeah, nice. I think he switched to Instagram instead of Twitter. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I should go and do that. Yes. Uh, what do we have uh, now? We're now we're away from savory and now we're going to sweet. Well, if you want to give your stomach a break, read about Canaan in fact while I try this. All right, Jen is going to open the 100% maple syrup, maple pops, or uh, lollipop. lollipop. And Canada's official phone number <laughs> is 1-800-O-Canada. No. Yes. We could actually just call 1-800-O-Canada right yeah, now? Yeah, we could. And say, we are currently tasting your snacks. They are delicious. So as you see, it's an adorable little maple leaf. Are you calling it? Yes. Please do. 
Uh, now I have to spell it. O C A <laughs> N A D A. Six two two six two three two. Wonder what. Major hearts, Canada. Major hearts. I don't know why I keep eating this. It's disgusting. Is it? Oh, that's gross. Is I, I'm not. I don't want. No. No. Well, I've been licking it. So. <laughs> bah. <laughs> it's just. It's. It's maple syrup. Yeah, it's just pure maple syrup. Were you a fan of the maple syrup when we had maple maple lattes at Pete's? No. No. This quintessential Canada treat is made from 100% pure maple syrup. Doesn't say that Canadian people like to eat this. Just it says just says that that's it's, what it's made of. But it's made of. Which makes me think that this is like one of those things they sell in like... You no, know, we have maple syrup tracks. in America too, you know. Yes, it's true. Yeah. But it makes me think that this is one of those things that like is sold in like tourist traps. Possibly. Like, hey guys, I know you're visiting Canada. Maple pop. That's gross. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that is the first hard, hard no. That's a hard no. All right. Yeah. Let's have that puff pastry thing. You want the puff pastry? Yeah. These are called <laughs> passion. It's a passion flaky. Oh, I'm gonna need a paper towel. Yeah, for that's this. What, yeah. I was feeling it, and that thing's gonna be flaky. True. <laughs> that's true. We don't. Maple leaves are literally a hockey team. Yeah. That, from, that's, from Toronto. That's the kit, yeah. Toronto, Toronto. Oh, oh dear. Toronto Maple Leaf. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, you all right? You okay? I don't know. I was a cough and a hiccup. Oh my goodness. And a burp. Yeah, so that's puff pastry. It is puff pastry. Um, I can do this. Ooh, look at the inside. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's a lot of cream cheese. That Is I'm it cream cheese? It looks like cream cheese. I could be completely wrong. Cream something. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's actually divine. I like that. Then I'm, again, you're, you're, you're not as big of a um, strawberry fan as I am. Right. Mmm. This would taste better warm. <laughs> As you spill it. Boy, microwave! <laughs> that would be like so ooey gooey at that point. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm I'm a five out of five on this one. No? I like it. Mmm. 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 Alright, I'll just keep eating it then. Go for it. Mm. That confuses me. Why? It's a pastry. That's what confuses me about it. Oh. Are you not a big, uh, I'm not a big pastry, pastry, pastry fan? No. Want to give it to Tony? Tony! Human garbage disposal! <laughs> there you go. Man behind the curtain. Your man behind the curtain. I like it. What are those? Maynard's? Juicy squirts. <laughs> Seriously, are they called juicy squirts? Oh my god. Berry juicy squirts. They're gushers. Ju juicy squirts. Pretty much. You keep eating that. We're taking our time, man. Mmm. <laughs> Your hair is uh, bunched up on the headphones. Um. Mm. It's because I keep trying to fix my bangs. Your bangs. But whatever. It looks yeah. good tonight. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, your hair's darker. Yeah. Is it, it, it? Did you actually get? Is it darker no, than I'm, before? 
No, or, it or just, it, it just, darkens over. It darkens. Oh. And I also adjusted the, the camera a little bit. No, it darkens over time. Next week I'll be back to normal Jennifer hair. Oh. So it'll be pinks and purples and just... Jennifer will be back. <laughs> Are you going to go jet black for Halloween? No, Katie won't do that. What? Because it hurts your hair? Well, it hurt, yeah, you would have to bleach my hair so hard to get it back to blonde. That. And then, and then there's that whole... You have your normal hair color coming out. Yeah, you have that weird, and it's taken so long to get it blonde like this. Because mm. I had super, remember, I had super dark brunette hair for a while. I went blonde, yeah. and then I was super brunette. What for a is while. your natural hair color? This. Kind of this. Yeah. This is exactly my natural okay. hair color. Okay. All right. So when I went brunette, and I said I had to go blonde again for Lance. <laughs> that was a fact. Lance is like, I like you blonde. So even though I met him as a redhead. What? I was a redhead when I met Lance. I met you, you were already blonde again. Yeah, yeah. I was a redhead when I met Lance. Wow. I dyed my hair that purplish red and it faded. By the time I met him, it had faded to that really pretty like rust color. Oh, that's right. You met him at one of Tony's rager parties, right? Or was it with Ed? Ed. Ed? Yeah, it was with Ed. Yeah. Oh! I met him at La Scala with Ed. There's a bunch of different ones. Tony remembers the redheaded face. I met Tony as a redhead. So we have... Red. Red. I will go... Orange. No, I will go strawberry. They're... No, look at them. They're translucent. You can actually see the little juice thing in the middle. I don't like the juice in the middle, but I like the outside. It's a gummy. Yeah. It's a gummy bear. I hope it's not a laxative type. If you guys want to laugh your heads off, Go to the sugar-free Harbio gummy reviews on Amazon. They are gut-wrenchingly funny. I will have Because they, apparently the sugar-free gummy bears act like a laxative. Like a really powerful laxative. And these are amazing. Or, Haribo, not Harbio, Haribo, sorry. Thank you, thank you, Tony. But yes, Tony was around for the redheaded phase. Ooh, the grape ones are good. No, the grape. Is there a grape? Mm hmm. Mm. There it is. There it is. Grape one's really good. Mmm. Mm. Cog Whistle, wel welcome to the chat. Mmm. These are really good. I am happy with these. Orange is even good. Mm. I, again, I like the outside. I don't like the little mm -hmm. squirt of juice. <laughs> you don't like you don't like the juicy squirt? No, I don't like the squirt. <laughs> if you get, if you keep the proper serving size, it doesn't cause your ass to explode. So here's the thing: serving size of those is probably what three or four bears. But we're American. We eat the whole thing. We eat the whole thing or a handful yeah. at a time. Like, I am seriously going to eat all of these if I don't stop here. Yeah. Well, go for it because I was going to show you. And apparently we have some fuzzy peach version of that too. Yes, we do. But they're harder. Oh, wow. <laughs> Juicy Squirts Berry. These soft and snackable gummies are filled with a sweet splash of fruit flavor in every bite. I am a a, a big fan of those. You're not so much. I'm not, no, but we'll try. Um. <laughs> serving sizes, yes. My favorite serving size thing is, uh, you know how uh, Pam... And other cooking sprays say that it's a way for uh, fat-free cooking. Yes. But it's oil. It's 100% fat. True. That's because the serving size is... Yes, I know. That's true. And if it's less than one gram... Yeah. That's, that's the red hair. You were so young. Please. Look at baby Lance face. does not deserve... Lance look. needs always needs a beard and mustache. Yes, but look at baby face. Good God. Look at baby uh, uh, face. That way, that way. Oh. Other oh. oh, way. There you go. Look at baby face, Lance. Like I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm 
super Actually, that young. camera's probably better. Probably. There you go. Well, it still It still works, but yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the red hair. That yeah. was it growing out. <laughs> but yeah, that's about him. That's here. What? You can tell. That's here. Yeah, that's about him. <laughs> that's in the uh, carport. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's the oldest picture I have of Lance and I. Uh, we'll save the last he Canada fact for the end. It's because he was skinny back then. He I was skinny back then, but that was, was ridiculous. All right, let's get some fuzzy peach. Let's get our fuzzy peach on. Apparently, <laughs> apparently a a what? place called Cursed Architecture just followed it's me like on Twitter. Internet. Cursed Architecture. Cursed okay. Architecture. It's probably apparently because I, you know, I follow all the ghost adventure dudes. These are uh, peach hard gums. I love them. I love oh. that. That sugar at the beginning is the best thing in the entire world. Mm-hmm. Maynards, I like your uh, fruit, fruit, fruit based snacks. Not flute, fruit. I love that tart. Mm. That ultra super tart in the mm -hmm. beginning. I don't really like the peach. Oh, I love peaches. But I'll eat that all the time because I love that mm -hmm. harsh tart beginning. Oh. Uh, these are obviously made obviously made with natural pe peach flavor because mm -hmm. it tastes like a farmyard peach. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. All right. Yeah. Moving things forward. It's pretty much all candy. At this point, yeah. At this point, right? Um, we're going to need uh, the cutting board. No. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. Yeah, because all these are cutting board. Yeah, we're going to need cutting board. So we're going to get the cutting board, and we're going to uh, be right back. The Viking helmet. Oh, wow. You have a Viking helmet on. All right, so we will be right back. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and don't go away. Welcome back. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carbohydro M, for Ride the Star. We have, let's do, it doesn't really matter. They're both, they're both fine. They're both fine. Ah, uh, okay. Now we are, since we are in the uh, the sugary. We're in the, the lot sweet. of like candy bars, so. Cadbury Dairy Milk, oh. You wanna do that? Cadbury. Nuts. Fruit and nuts, man. Fruit and nuts. Fruit and nuts. So. Uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk. Cadbury, uh, Canadian Cadbury is apparently better than American Cadbury. <laughs> I am not surprised that any other country is better than American right now. Oh, wow, uh, the famous that. Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate bar is combined with sweet raisins and savory almonds. Oh, no. What? I'm not a raisin fan. I'm not a. Ra I'm not a. Uh, Should I have waited then to tell you what's in uh, it? Oh no, I can tell because it has a raisin on the front. I didn't even notice the raisin. All right. Hmm. I do not like chocolate with nuts in it. Hmm. Mm. You know, it's pretty good. That raisin's so chewy, although. Mm -hmm. I like raisins in oatmeal cookies. I like raisins in oatmeal. Not blueberries? No. Mm. I only like raisins and cranberries and brown sugar. Wow. Good thing you don't get your uh, your oatmeal at Pete's. No, no, you have a whole yeah. bunch of stuff yeah. in it. I eat around it. Yours and Starbucks. I don't know where you get your oatmeal. Where you guys get your, your source your oatmeal? I don't understand it. It's f***ing crack. It is. I it's crack. Well, I just, well, I, Pete's Pete's oatmeal isn't just oatmeal. It's three different kinds of oatmeal and uh, like some other grain. Yeah, you and went it, Starbucks, man. I yeah. literally can just eat this stuff. I hate oatmeal normally. I don't eat it very often. Yeah. I just crack. Yeah. I so just, how popular is oatmeal? Um, we just reordered our oatmeal containers. You know how many you have to order to uh, reorder them? A thousand. 
A thousand containers at a time have to be ordered. Is it popular? Yeah, it's pretty popular. No, yeah, yours is pretty good. Yeah. Because you also have put everything. You're like. Oh, we have like six different things to. Uh, yeah, but you're also like Starbucks where you have them all individual bags. Yeah, so you so can, you can choose. put what you want in. You can pick in. and yeah. choose, yeah. Because I never put the nuts and that, that kind of stuff in. We have, we have almonds, we have brown sugar, and we have blueberries. And then we have three other kind of shishi things. We have yeah. like. Uh, you have flax seeds. Flax seeds and all that. And all that yeah. yeah. I eat yours with blueberries. It's not like I hate blueberries in it, but like I prefer a raisin. So, Boy, a so those of us it's that work, tart. those of us that work at Pete's, you know how you add water to it to make the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. We steam half and half and put it in there. It makes it so decadent. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so decadent. <laughs> it's so good. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna use Alejandro crap, don't mind me. Oh, yeah. Make sure he comes in here and tries to cheer us. He can say 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 he can cheer now. <laughs> uh what uh what do you want what do you want to try next? Cadbury. That was the Cadbury. Dairy dairy milk fruit and nut. These famous Cadbury dairy milk chocolate bars combined with sweet raisins and savory almonds, yeah. Do you want to try the Mr. Big? Go big, go home. Go big or go <laughs> home. <laughs> It's Mr. Big. It, it's big. It's big. What is Mr. It's big? It's also it's also made by Cadbury. What is featuring a crispy wafer coated in caramel, peanuts, and crisp rice, then dipped in chocolate. Great for sharing. Well, we're gonna share. <laughs> Jeez. It, why is it cross the Oh my the god. Room? No, the, the wafer is like the core. Oh my god, this thing's hella thick. Yeah, look too. at this. It is, it is literally a thick boy. <laughs> Bring some D and D references yeah. in this boy. Hayden, where are you? Haley, you need to get Hayden in here. She's gone. Uh, she said she was baking, so yeah. she'll probably be back. Wow. Mmm. Oh yeah. A lot going on in there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. No? Yeah. No, I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm answering Alejandro. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What does that remind you of? Kit Kat. Whatchamacallit. I've never had a whatchamacallit. Yeah? Huh. It's kind of like this. Well, I'm going to go. It's wafer and nut and rice and... I, I, I'm happy I haven't gotten the nut because, again, I don't like nuts and chocolate. Oh, peanut, yeah. It's what kept me from Snickers for really? so long. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. This entire entire Mr. Big has 22% of your recommend daily allowance of fat. <laughs> the whole bar. Oh, the whole bar. <laughs> I was gonna say, my heart hurts already. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, but like again, this also tastes like a Snickers to me. And I don't really like... So t apparently, apparently, uh, Knob Hill Foods is Canada RS. This is Canada too? Uh, uh, this is in Canada too? <laughs> what is it? Well, we're in California, which is kind of close to Canada. It's easier to get Canadian things. It's kind of like, you know, Wisconsin probably has a lot of Canadian Oh, yeah. Stuff. I'm sure they do. Upstate New York. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Need to take a little breather? Yeah. <laughs> was that a little heavy? That was really heavy. That was heavier. Heavier than the... Oh, where's the, um, the Nelson Jersey Milk? <laughs> or did we not get that? What is that, Nelson Jerry? No, we probably. Oh no, it's right here. What does it look like? Oh, it's Nielsen. Sorry. Oh, this is probably this is milk chocolate with, with like milk inside of it. Nineteen twenty four. This rich milk chocolate bar still bears the name of Canada's dairy institution. Go well, that means it, that sir. they're using Jersey cows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it, sir. You know my hatred of white chocolate, if it's white chocolate. Uh, uh, 
Apparently, I don't know how to use scissors today. Burp. I screwed up opening the tea this morning, too. It was really funny. Oh, it's milk. It's milk, <laughs> it's milk chocolate. Oh. Oh. You can break them. Yep. Or I can use this. You have to be exact with it. No, no, no just do one. Just before, do. Yeah. <laughs> See if we even like this yeah. before we go. Before we go full hog on full it. Full hardcore with this thing. Oh. Just seems like it's milk chocolate. It's milk chocolate. It's milk chocolate bar. No. Very rich. Really rich. You know, my mom would like this because she's a chocolate person. She would love. Why oh. doesn't she watch? I have to like hold her hand to teach her how to do it, and mm -hmm. I haven't been able to do that. Okay. She probably would. Yeah. She was the first person I called when I made affiliate. All right. I go, I did it, Mom! <laughs> All right. We're going to do gum because I need to break up the chocolate. All right, so we're going to eat gum. Thrills, which I'm assuming is gum. It's thrills? Maybe it's some kind of weird esoteric drug. Well, this is not endearing at all. What? It still tastes like soap. What? Is the strange but endearing Canadian description for this rose water flavored chewing gum. Rose water? That tastes like soap. I'm eating soap. That tastes like soap! We've oh my god! We've officially been trolled by Canada. That's soap! It gets better. Was that Tony laughing? No, it, that's my voice. It gets better. Tony! Here, have a have a little tablet of soap. Oh god, that's so gross. That's soap! Oh my god! It's definitely rose water. I like rose water. Um, As a flavor? Yeah. Um, you put it on uh, uh, oh, kebab. That soap. That that soap. Soap. <laughs> it's soap. That is gross. Oh my god! Yeah. They didn't have to make it taste like soap. They could have just done rose water. That is gross. Why am I still chewing it? <laughs> because it's gum. That's perfect music to go along with like that. Why am I still eating this? I'm getting rid of that. Oh my god. Uh, uh, hard no on that one. Why am I still chewing it? <laughs> oh my god. Jen, because you're a girl? I you like love to it! You like to chew your gum? Oh my god, I love it! Did you really like it? I do! <laughs> you can have it. The fact that it tastes like soap is amazing to me. <laughs> Troll your friends! Don't eat more, wait till... It I... literally says it. It still <laughs> tastes like soap! Thank you, Canada, for trolling us. That was disgusting. I didn't like it. For some reason, that was amazing. I don't understand why. Give one to Lance, and I bet he'll go, Bleh! Oh my god. What? Who are you watching? What? Oh. Oh. He's talking to us. Oh. Ah! I don't know why I love this. You can have it. I don't know why I love this. Why do I love this? It's like being, hand, it's like hand, handing bean boozled out your out to your friends. Well, this works for you. Oh look, it's coffee crisp. Hello, coffee. It's a Nestle coffee crisp. Wait, is it Nestle, an American company? What does it say? Oh, I, I missed it. What does it say about coffee crisp? Oh, what does it say about coffee yeah. Um, you might be on your own with that one. My uh, stomach's starting to hurt. Oh, okay. Alternating layers of vanilla wafer and delicious coffee flavored cream wrapped in milk chocolate. That one is all you, sir. I would like it, but my stomach's starting to hurt. Okay. So I'm going to take one off. That's a big wow. wafer. Look at that. That is a wafer. It's not waffa thing. It's waffa thick. <laughs> And it won't go back in the package. There it goes. There you go. All right, coffee crisp. Coffee crisp. No, sorry, cookie crisp. <laughs> That's cookie crisp. 
cookie crisp. <laughs> oh, it's small. Oh, that's, yeah, no, that would make me sick. Oh my goodness, that's not a wafer in the middle. What that's the that? coffee. You're gonna be wired. I'll be fine. When are we doing our coffee tasting while we're sitting here? Um, I'm gonna make that a holiday thing. Thanksgiving. I'll get Christmas. a bunch of samples and do pour overs. Should we do Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas is always a ba busy time of year. I think Thanksgiving would make a good mm -hmm. one. Let's like, a, we should do it like the week of Thanksgiving is like, a, yeah. hey, go to Pete's and buy this coffee for your family. Well, what we're gonna do. We'll email Pete's and tell them we're doing it so we can get sponsored. Apparently, <laughs> I would get us money. Apparently, man. Pete's has an official YouTube channel now. Oh, it does? Um, yeah. Well, they're missing out. Well, they don't have an official Twitcher. They do have an official Twitch cam channel. They they have have Pete's Twitch, or Twitch oh, Pete's, yeah. Um, now, they haven't asked me to do anything. Of course, I sent my district manager a long, here's why we should do this, you know, proposal. But, meh. Wow. Well, yeah. We should still do our own. I'm still going to do it. Yeah, we'll do our own pour over and we'll tell you people what kind of coffee you should serve your family yeah. for the ones you like. We're actually what and we're, tell you the ones what that I'm going to do is I'm going to have like. I'm going to have set up here. I'm going to have my grinder. Yeah. I'm going to have my uh, my water heater mm -hmm. or my, my kettle. Your kettle. I'm going to have a pour over. Okay. And we're going to have a little, you know trash bag so we can put yeah. the coffee in there. And we're going to do uh, basically just a Melita pour over. Yeah. Or the Japanese version of it mm -hmm. and uh yeah we'll tell people the good coffee mm -hmm. to serve to the relatives yeah. you like and the bad coffee oh, yeah. to serve to the ones you don't like, like. <laughs> here you guys need a cup of coffee to leave here leave faster yeah <laughs> here leave faster because um, I, I think i'm hosting oh oh you're hosting everything this year aren't yeah, you? yeah so i'm gonna need a break from life they're closets chocolate covered, covered peanuts peanuts I'm gonna do it. All right. Da, 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 da. It's five three pointers and how much? Who's who's? Are we are we following basketball today? Yes. Well, I'm. I always follow basketball. It's preseason, all this. I don't really care. But apparently, he just hit five three pointers. Who? Curry. Clay. Oh, Clay. Curry's not in Seattle. Oh. No. 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 That's disgusting. No. 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 Ew. Why can't some countries do peanuts right? So far, the only country... Well... Japan didn't do it either. No. The chocobos. I hated those. Yeah. Um, so far, only the South can do them. Our South. Our South, yes. I've never had a boiled Maybe peanut. that's because that's where peanuts grow. Yeah. I've never had a boiled peanut. Oh, they're good. But I've been told that they're amazing. Yeah. I do like the slow roasted, super salty, like baseball peanut. Oh yeah, I mean I get those all the time. What is this? Oh, this I is am the aerated forward to this. peppermint menthol or peppermint. Menthol. Oh, these are the aerated chocolates. Yes. Yeah. A light and sweet aerated chocolate bar infused with peppermint flavor, a smooth chocolate mint flavored in every bubbly bite. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's already opening. I'm gonna need to. <coughs> oh, that peanut! Oh man! <coughs> yeah. I'm dying. You're dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> That's you, Aaron. They're in Disneyland. Oh, I know. I saw. I do. I do follow uh, Jessica on her Instagram. Granny War. That's so weird looking. It's very light. It, it doesn't have any weight You know what to that it. smells like? It's a grasshopper. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what it tastes like. Mm. That's a grasshopper. Yeah, well, um, where do you get those uh, seeds? Or... We're staying at a hotel. Mm. Mm. That's the chocolate they serve in hotels, but better. Oh, it's the... Uh... The little mint. Yeah. The, yeah. That's the oh, this is way better. That's a that. hotel mint, but better. Those are good. That's fantastic. That's delicious. That's okay. So that one's a yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Nestle, why don't you serve that here? 
There are places in Canada that have less gravity than the rest of the world? Yeah, but not by much. How's that possible? How's that possible? They're further away from the center of the Earth. They're further away from the center of mass. It's physics. This is true. I look like a person. It's physics. Remotely knows it. So, the uh, pull of gravity is is uh, <coughs> is more the closer you are to the uh, uh, center of mass. So, like when you're near the equator, you feel heavier. No. It has to do with where you are, or how far away you are from the center of mass. Now, the Earth isn't in a perfect sphere. Mm -hmm. It's slightly oblong. Uh, oblong, but there are areas, the, the northern part of the Earth mm -hmm. is, Earth has basically a muffin top, if that makes sense. No, that makes sense. So there are parts of the Earth in the northern hemisphere that are further away from the center of the Earth, which is the center of mass. Oh, okay. okay? And the further away you are, the less gravity you feel. If you're on the mount, on top of Mount Everest, you're way less. I did not know that. Yeah. Because the acceleration due to gravity is greater the closer you get to the point of accelerate the uh, origin of the acceleration. Sorry, I'm getting all like. No, I like literally didn't getting know all any of here. that. Yeah. So. But that's why. I'll help you with fandoms. You help me with real life actual with things physics. that matter. Speaking of physics. Fandoms matter, but. Oh, I put it out out front. Um, I'm reading a, a really, really, I'm actually half reading, half listening to, because I got a free audible of the same book. Oh. It's called, oh, it's up there. Can you get it? It's at the very top of that. Uh, yeah. Ignition? It's called Ignition, and I picked this up uh, on, uh, from the recommendation of a uh, uh, science type guy called Scott Manley, who uh, is a rock, who does rocket science stuff on YouTube. It is written by someone who is in the industry, and it's the unofficial history of liquid propellants. <laughs> my favorite line in the book is, oh my god, the concrete is on fire. <laughs> in response to someone accidentally spilling a bunch of this, like, super hypergolic acid they use as an oxidizer. It ate through the table that was spilled on, through the foundation of the building, into this concrete foundation, and then into 20 feet of, of dirt underneath. And it was like a five gallon drum. That's how, how disgustingly reactive. These are the kind of things I read on about on Tumblr. Yeah, like. I do, science yeah. Tumblr is very interesting. Oh, yeah. But this, this is, and, and I believe you that, that, actually, whole, that, that whole exclamation of the concrete is on fire was from one of the firefighters. <laughs> but you would actually really enjoy Science Tumblr. I probably would. But you'd have to get through a lot of porn. But like, Science Tumblr is actually really educational. <laughs> science porn, then Science well, Tumblr. Well, like, Tumblr is just porn. Period. There's just, there's fan art that's pornographic, there's actual porn, there's all sorts of kinks that have their own specific parts of Tumblr. Apparently the, the drum was made out of a special type of stainless steel that they developed just to hold this acid. And the guy accidentally It's like, like developing a pen to work in space. Why not use a pencil? Because graphite shavings can mess with electricity. The electricals. That's why they used a pen. Russia used a pencil. Yeah, because they didn't care about their pilots. Well, true. Yeah. Or their, or their electronics were more, more, more robust. Probably. But the whole idea, the reason you don't want to use a pencil is the graphite shavings yeah, are conductive. So if they get someplace that can cause electrical short, and all of a sudden you don't know where you are. But again, yeah. yeah. But you would also... But that's the, that was our reasoning behind the pen. Oh, okay. But I was saying that you, you would actually... Because yeah, a pencil would be Tumblr, a better way to do that. Yeah. If you were to join Tumblr. Yeah. You'd have to sift through <laughs> a lot. I have to sift through enough on Reddit as it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I do not Reddit. But Reddit, you can really laser focus your interest. And I have like data is. I have too much ADHD in like my body to like handle Reddit. I barely handle Tumblr. This is a maple Mars bar. <laughs> I know, this terrifies me. I have that maple like lollipop 
this is we'll save that for later. This is only making me more no. Let's eat it now because that's only oh, okay. making me more nervous. Okay, so we'll eat that first. Yeah. All right. You ready? I'm gonna need to get some more water soon. I'm yeah, I'm out. So. Hey, Maude, can you get us some water from the uh, from the door? Or Tony can come in here. He's gonna take the bullet for the team. I'll take the bullet. I won't eat it. What? Oh, you want to try the I'll maple? I'll take the bullet. He'll take the bullet for the maple. He'll try it before we have to like ingest it. So if we know if it's good or not. All right. Bear in mind, I actually like maples. So. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm. I'm thinking that you might Ooh, like it. Whoa, it's, that is that that smell though is wow. It's maple. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. It's it smells like pancakes. Oh yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that maple pop, like. Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's got the texture of a uh, Milky Way. Oh, it is a Mars bar. Yeah. Mars is and they they Mars is Canadian, yeah. Yeah. The maple's actually it, it's more smell than, than I actually it's, yeah, it's I would actually good. prefer a uh, The maple's a, I would prefer a real Mars bar. I like Mars bars. I've never had a Mars bar. They're it's almond and nougat and That's why and I have it. Car and caramel. It's delicious. I don't like nuts and my chocolate. That the the maple in that is very new. So do you know where the the small? It's just it, the, the, the it's very pungent though. Yeah, that's. Do you know where the small bosses are in the in the uh, in the door in the fridge? No, but I'm sure I'll see it if I open the door. Can you get us both a, a <laughs> boss? <Yeah>. Water. <laughs> we need our water. 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 I need water, sir. I want the Viking. Oh, the wunderbar. Which you would be surprised this is Canadian and not German. Viking helmets didn't have horns. I'm sorry. Not to correct you or anything, but the Viking football team has horns on their helmet. <laughs> yes, because... They are Vikings. <laughs> they're not Vikings, because they're, they're... They're the Vikings! Minnesota Vikings. Scroll. They're the, the characterization. Thank you, Tony. That is not something that Vikings actually want. I was <laughs> just saying that. Like, like, nope. Nope. What? Skull. It's your football team, sir. This looks like a uh, Butterfinger. It does. And the packaging looks like a Butterfinger. Is this the... But it's not. That is not a Butterfinger. That looks I was like going to say, is this a Canadian what Butterfinger? What does it say? Oh, that's true. I do have it very bright. Do you want one of these, Tony? kind of looks like a heat ball. Do you want one? Yeah, I'll try one. <laughs> ah. This marvelous candy bar features Cadbury milk. Chocolate it's a Cadbury. It's a Cadbury. Peanut thing. butter, rice crisps, and caramel. So it is a Butterfinger. No, that's that's closer to like a uh, a crispy. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I like peanut butter and chocolate. I really do. That's. Mmm. That's Reese's with crispy. Mm -hmm. I like peanut butter and chocolate. It's one of my um, favorite. Mm. If it didn't have the caramel, I'd like it. Well, the caramel kind of holds it all together. But it's jarring when chewing. Mm -hmm. Like that, if that was just if chocolate, it was like, peanut butter. If it was a different type of caramel. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really good. That, that it's actually it's not just wonderful, it's wunderbar. Wunderbar. Which is German for wonderful. <laughs> With a Viking helmet. With a Viking helmet. That's not bad. I like it. What are you doing? Scroll. Scroll. That's the um, Viking. So in Norway, for their soccer team, they yell scroll and they clap over their heads and stuff like that. It's a thing. The Viking, the Viking. Are you sure they're not, they're not saying skull? Maybe skull. I don't know. Because that's cheers. It's maybe skull. I don't know. Don't ask skull. me. Skull. I am not a Viking fan. <laughs> I'm, a team, I'm a fan of a better I'm just team. Gonna, I'm just going to point out. What bar is Jen's shirt? <laughs> <laughs> it is the exact colors true. of that packaging. I think that this is, is actually going to be... Fantastic, Tony. What bar? What bar? It is literally the same color wow. as my shirt. <laughs> um, but anyways, they do that chant in Norway and then... Skull! Hey. 
Alejandro, thank you for the 300 biddies. Oh, now I'm not the leader. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Tony. I'm not the leader it's anymore. It's Skull. Thank you. I knew it was Skull. I was close enough. I don't like the Vikings. Lance likes the Vikings. Um, but yeah, they do that. They took it from Norway and they do that chant. Thank you, Alejandro. Is he actually? Uh, no, well, he switched over here. He's yeah. probably going back to Second Sons. <laughs> I'm sure Aaron Glazer is doing something horrendous and going on and on and on. So that's why he came over here. <laughs> that's the one. That Way to make Tony look bad, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, I had four. I have three literal bits right now. <laughs> Because I ain't spending money on it. I'll be damned if I'm going to spend that much time watching the ads. I, I'm happy that the bits work. Unfortunately, I don't know why the bits, uh, the bit icons aren't working. I'll have to figure that out. Well, we got they the little. It, it, yeah, on but on the bot on the bottom, you see the you yeah, see the it, these icons. Mine was icons? animated when uh, I did it. Yeah, no, but uh, it doesn't show. Your face was animated when I did mine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yes, PogChamp is a, an actual person in the text. Who? PogChamp, the one in the middle. Left. Huh? Oh. The icon in the middle that he used? Yeah. Oh. The oh. Guy's a, the guy's yeah. a fighting game community. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, that one's the Butterfinger, by the way. Yeah. This, That's this the one's butter probably finger. the Butterfinger with Krispy Crunch. All right. Open yeah. it up. His was animated. His okay, was animated. So yeah. Good, good. So just not animated on your computer. Yeah. It's a learning process, guys. Yeah. It's just learning. This is going to be really fun on YouTube when people are watching it and they're like, what are they talking about animated? Oh, wow. It actually has a... Yeah, probably to hold it together. Hold it together because... Tony wants the Butterfinger. Tony, Tony's like, like Butterfinger. Give me, give me, give me. I actually kind of want to try an O'Henry because I knew I've never had one. I've had... I've never had an O'Henry either. That... It's honey, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I I used to have O'Henry's when I was a kid. Oh, it's Reese's. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't look like a normal oh, O'Henry. honey? You know, I can bring this to Supernatural. Oh, yeah. That I is. can bring honey all the way into Supernatural, mind you. I think this one is, is, is Butterfinger. That is totally Butterfinger. Butterfinger. Yes. Isn't Butterfinger it looks a little uh, lighter than Butterfinger. Butt thing? Oh, yeah. No. Butterfingers have been around forever. Bits or money? Pennies. All right. So Alejandro basically just gave Bill three bucks. Yep. Bits are... Yeah, I get one penny for every bit. Uh-oh. No? That's a Butterfinger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flaky peanut butter. It's mm. not bad. But... It's not a Butterfinger. I actually prefer Butterfingers. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that was. You can just throw that away or eat it. Well, we'll go through the box afterwards. It was afterwards. a bad Butterfinger. Mmm. All right. Tony is really chomping at the bit for the old Henry. So, quite, quite literally to chunk. bring that back to Supernatural, Cass, Cass, in that season. This is, this is thicker than the big boy. <laughs> six, maybe six. There's, there's nuts in this. Jam. Yes, crazy, yeah, crazy Cass. Anyways. Gets, yeah, that's they bring they bring cats out of a uh, factory and stuff like that. He refuses to fight. Blah blah blah. One of the lines in the show goes, "On my car, he, he on my car. I swear he came. He was talking to me. He was naked, covered in bees. What? Followed by the scene of Cass giving them a bag of honey that he collected himself. And so the fandom always associates Castiel. That's really with good. Bees and honey. You won't like it because it's peanut. Now, why did they not use these peanuts in the other one? No, I like this. This yeah. is good. Why did they not use these peanuts in the pe chocolate covered peanuts? Yeah. Are they American? Whoever you are. Research. You know what these? that is? What? That is a chocolate covered payday. You did? Yeah, for payday. But the same company. Yeah. No, paydays are um, not Reese's. But I'll take that. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's too hard to read because half of it is French. We'll learn French. No. We. <laughs> oui. No. Tony's going in for oh, the. Yeah, try a ring off. Try a ring off. 
Actually, not bad, but like, really stick it on your tongue first before you eat it. Because that's how you get the flavor. Oh, and you have to eat more than one. It's not bad. All right, what else we got? That's it. That's it? Yep. Give me some of that gum now. I need some of that gum as that's a palate right. cleanser. <laughs> I'm gonna have some more soap. I don't know why I like it. I don't know why. I'm gonna have some more soap as a palate cleanser. It was a good palate cleanser, you can't deny that. Ah, I gotta get through the first bit. I don't know why, I just, ah. I liked it. I liked it. All right. Mmm, all right, now it's better. <laughs> Jen, why don't you just upend the whole thing in your face? There you go. All right. Those gummies are really good. Final fact of Canada. Who did the final fact? There are places in Canada that have less great. Okay, you did. Um, so I think, as a whole, Canada box was good. Canada box was a good box. Um, I think. I think the uh, the sugary stuff was pretty North American, you know. Stuff that we would would normally get anyway. The uh, savory stuff, though, really good. Like the ketchup. I like the ketchup. Yeah. The dill you... pickle, man. Dill pickle. Was good. Dill pickle reminded me of a slightly slightly dilly uh, uh, like uh, vinegar, salt vinegar, vinegar salt and vinegar chip. Yeah. With the dill. That's With all dill. that was. The Doritos were Doritos. Doritos I, hate, were Doritos. I hate to say it, they were Doritos. They were Doritos. They're I think Doritos. my favorite were... one, my favorite candy bar was the Arrow. Because yeah, that was because fabulous. mint. And I think because mint. Because mint. <laughs> There's no there listen to our wonderful in-depth yeah. like discussion of the food. I liked it because of mint. Because of mint. Well, it's the only one that had mint. True. Yeah. Um That maple lollipop was disgusting. disgusting. Uh, Ruffles all dressed, which if you get that maple lollipop, just melt it down and pour it on pancakes. There you go. That's pretty much all you can do with it. Uh, I have to say the juicy squirts and the fuzzy peach were really good. I liked for not liking peaches. I liked the peach. The fuzzy peach. And good. then the ketchup chips. I have to say I really enjoyed. I like those. I what what, like what were your favorites? Much. What were your favorites? Uh, you like the Rolio things. Yes, I love the Ruffles. Mm hmm. But you can get those here. Yeah, I'm just. Doesn't mean I didn't like them. Doesn't yeah. mean I yeah. Doesn't mean I wasn't gonna just eat that whole bag. Uh, I like the hickory sticks. Loved that soda. Well, oh, the soda, yes. Oh, I love that soda. The soda was really good. I thought it was gonna be like a, a horrible <laughs> cream soda. Yeah, the gum. I were will really good. say that I think my favorite thing out of the box was the soda and the pickle chips. Okay. For as Canadian things. The, the the ketchup chips were my favorite Canadian thing. Yeah, if I'm yeah. gonna go with just Canadian things, yeah, yeah. The pickle chips by yeah. far. That was, that I'm getting, you know shit. what? I'm getting used to hearing myself and hearing you through my headphones rather than through my head. You know how if you, if you're if you don't hear yourself through your ears, it's kind of muffled and stuff. Uh, I don't. If you put, do you ever talk to somebody with headphones on? No. All right. How's this? Oh, okay. Now yeah. I, can, I can see what you're and talking about. Now hear yourself. You can't hear yourself. I can kind of hear myself. But you're, you're hearing it's yourself very... through your head. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's but... a very random. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm just saying. I'm getting used to it, and yeah. I just noticed that it's not bothering. It, it, it was bothering me for a bit. Oh, see, so it never. Bothered. It, it doesn't bother me at all now. Um, I like that microphone. That's uh, your microphone. It's a good mic. Right. Uh, so everybody. So this was the Halloween box. What? Not so candy filled because mm -hmm. it's October, so you would. Yeah. So this makes me nervous because I. But really we got we literally got this like two weeks after we got the other one. Mm -hmm. Are I they are been... they just gonna like start shoving them down our? I throat? haven't gotten a notification for a new one, so I don't know. Normally they email me when okay. they're just like, "Hey, it's on the way." Yeah. Um. I oh, know I haven't checked my email today, so let's see. Misha Collins emailed me. Really? Yeah. It's for Gish. It's not. <laughs> Like, hi, Jen. How are you? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> he makes it sound like that, but... So, um... Who would you have here... I'll just moderate. 
I'll be like, not off screen, but I'll be barely visible and barely audible when you guys do your live fan fiction writing. Nobody else reads fan fiction but me. I mean, we could, can you do Skype? Yeah. Can we Skype in people? I can always, I can, yeah, always do that. Okay, because I can ask my fan fiction group. And actually have a yeah. fan fi do they do fan fiction live streams? They don't do, do they, fan fiction live streams. No, but like, they'll talk about it. Oh, forget and talking just, about it, you guys need to write it. Not writing it. Write it live on the fly. Nah, Fran will, Fran writes really good stuff and she writes, she has her own, like most. I mean, I, I will totally turn on the, uh, the mature audience thing for that night. Yeah, I can talk, I'll ask. I know a lot of them because I wanted to. It's do, just something for something. I for, had a uh, I had a weird random thought one day of doing a podcast. That well, was, you know what? A podcast would probably be easier. All you got to do is turn on your phone, record it, and then upload it. Yeah. Or you could do it live. I was considering because I had this weird random thought where I was going to do a podcast where I was going to discuss fan fictions, tropes. And it's easy. All you got to do is get a conference call going. Yeah. You can do the voice only yeah, Skype. And, and, you know, different tropes and different kinks yeah. and how you write <laughs> all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I was going to do it. It's just going to be me mm -hmm. talking about my stuff. And then I would slowly try and all right. gain an audience and stuff like that. But I could try it out here first. It's just me telling you what fan fiction is. Mm -hmm. And trying to get a person to understand the culture behind it. The history behind we, it. That would be that when would it was like illegal and like people used to get sued for it. <laughs> like Anne Rice is notorious. You do not write Anne, Anne Rice, Rice fan, fan fiction, fiction because she will sue you. Wow. She's a horrible human being. That's why I don't read any of her books. Wow. It's because she's a horribly mean human being. She literally she sues people for writing fan fiction about her about her characters and stuff like that. But she calls it like creative control or whatever. Um. Uh, J.K. Rowling, on the other hand, Harry Potter chick. Yeah. She actually, there are certain fan fictions she's actually okay. Really? As in, like, official... Like, this is canon. Oh, yeah, official, like, almost canon. It's all prequel stuff. Oh, wow. It's all James and Lily Potter at Hogwarts and stuff like that. There's official movies that fans <laughs> have made that she's actually come out and said, no, that... You, wow. They were as close to canon as you're going to get. Wow. Sort of thing. Uh, nothing for Supernatural because the writers are cowards. <laughs> Make it gay. Cowards. That's for you, Stephanie. Um, <laughs> Stephanie, my friend Stephanie, um, Dorgal. Okay. Um, one of these scenes is from Brokeback Distiel uh, episode last season. <laughs> um, commonly known as Tombstone within the fandom. You notice the little icon next to Tony's yeah, name? Yeah, snake? It's, no, that's the number two. Oh, did he give us another? No. Alejandro is number one. Oh, that's <laughs> what it is. I just noticed that. So those are all working, too. But anyways, uh, 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 Stephanie uh, took one of the things from the episode, a gif. She made a gif of the episode. Okay. And it's Dean and Cass and they're staring at each other. Aww. And her tagline was like, make it gay, you cowards. <laughs> make it canon, you cowards. Make it gay. And so, like, that's just the thing. Now, every, now people have taken that and run with it. I'm not a sick <laughs> shipper. I don't ship two brothers together. No, that's, that's, that's incestuous. That's gross and <laughs> disgusting. And I could take you on the dark side of that because those people are horrible human beings. Oh, show you how horrible those people are. They, somebody gave a gift to Jensen at the last convention yeah. in New Jersey, and he didn't open it. He didn't open it. Daniil was with him, his wife and his daughter were with him. And he yeah. was driving back to the hotel, and she was all excited to open this gift and stuff like that. She takes it out. It is a doll that's filled with rusty fish hooks. That's and like sticking out of them and yeah, stuff like that's... that. Like it's like a voodoo doll of Daniil with rusty fish hooks inside of it and out of it. Whoa. Yeah, and that's like creepy. it's a doll that you could have given to your child. That's who yeah. would do that? That this is those are sick humans of the fandom that I hate. Oh, oh, oh. I hate them. They're the they're the <laughs> Lance said it's just uh, yeah, okay. everybody hates the story. That's those are the tin hatters that think Jared and Jensen are in a real life relationship. Their wives are beards, their kids are test tube babies. Okay. Yeah, that's the horrible side of yeah. the fandom. 
If you want shitty set, I can uh, do the whole thing. But yeah. Well, that's... that'll be that'll be a different time. We can totally do that. A different time. And then I can um, get fandom people. So uh, thank you all. Thank you, actually Irish. You can follow me at metox underscore one uh, at metox underscore one on Twitter. You can follow Jen at actually Irish with two L's. Two L's on Instagram. Actually Irish. One L two. on. On on Twitter. Twitter. Uh, also, Jen has the hashtag What's in Jen's mouth. I do. Um, That's very click ba click baity. <laughs> click baity, yes. But, but you it will works. see it's just food. Yeah. Uh, thank you everybody for helping me get to affiliate. This has been an awesome uh, first affiliate, uh, first official affiliate stream, and uh, I will be. I think my next uh, scheduled stream is for Sunday night. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing you all next we time. D&D in two weeks. D&D in two weeks, yeah. I wonder if you want to try No. 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 Um, it's hard to moderate. Oh, that's true. So I would want to, I would have to be like not in the party. I am going to, I am going to attempt to uh, live stream some uh, X-Wing miniatures game uh, because I can moderate while somebody else Live. Uh, in fact, Lance and I, Lance wants to do the uh, the play by play. I'll do the moderation, Ooh, and like two that. other people need to play. Tony and Chris, maybe. That'd be cool. Yeah, because I think Lance, you said you wanted to do the uh, announcing. <laughs> Lance would be a good. Announcer. I think it would be he good. He has a yeah. very good monotone. Yeah. Kind of voice. For yeah, him. we'll we'll set it all up. I think it'll be fun. Uh, we're gonna try it one of these one of these Monday nights. Uh, not fun. next Monday, but the, maybe the Monday after. But we'll try. We'll try. Yeah. yeah. So I hope everybody has a wonderful Friday <laughs> evening. Thank you everybody for joining us. More what bars? <laughs> I'll make my next outfit is going to be a Thanksgiving themed. Yep. So I thank everybody for, for coming. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And Lance wants to announce games. Uh, thank you and take care. <laughs>